Well, you know, I, I know that our kids are going to go from high school to Division One, and, and all of my kids have gone to Division One. but what I try to do is try to prepare them for the transition, both in the classroom and on the basketball court. Because, you know, like I was saying, I don't want them to be a cheerleader. I want them to be in the game. I want them to be in the game of life. And so everything that we do at Riverdale Baptist is like Division One. We travel, we have study hall, we have chapel on the road, we do all of those things. Um, they have to have a certain GPA to play for me. And uh, you know, all of my kids are on the honor roll. So we kind of stress all the things that they need to happen at the next level now so that it's an easier transition for them. I, you know, I don't want them to get there and be frustrated because it's way above their heads. Mm -hmm. That's nice. So Riverdale Baptist, or Riverdale Riverdale Baptist. Baptist basketball mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. has more of a serious outlook. At basketball, it's not just a game; it's more of a right, lifestyle. Right, I think I think it is, and I, I think it's it's a preparation for life. And we we, we you know we do ex have examples like that too. So, how do you think that's gotten through to your girls this season? I think it you know it's an expectation at our school, and so they expect that. And you know, quite often and most of the time, some of my former players will come back to our practices and they talked to them and last night we probably had 12 of my former players just showed up at the gym and we scrimmaged them and you know and they got a chance to talk to our, our uh, student athletes and, and mentor them and say this is what we did and you know kind of we expect you all to continue paving the way for the people behind you gotcha. and you know they were they were ranging from graduating 10 years ago back to you know last year so it was it was and it's always good for my girls to to see that. Yeah, no attrition rate with that, right. that business. That's right. So this next couple of weeks, you guys have some big games coming up. We do. Yeah, what are we're... your expectations for these games? Well, you know, I, I expect us to continue to play team basketball, which has gotten us where we are at 36-2. and two. Um, We'll have two games on ESPN, which is in itself, it's an honor to be able to play on ESPN, but it's also an honor for them to be able to showcase their talents. All right, so you have three girls from your team playing in that yes. ESBC Classic. Yes, yes. How is it going to be as a coach uh -huh. from the stands watching right. your athletes play? Well, it's exciting for me because this time I'll get to enjoy and watch them. And, you know, it's different when I'm on the sidelines, when I'm telling them what to do or, you know. No but this stress. time, yeah, no stress, no stress. I'll just be like a proud mother from the stands tomorrow. Right, so, so what, what are your thoughts on the ESBC Classic as a whole? As an I think it's a great event. I think it's well organized. I think the sponsors are in place. I think the choice of the student athletes to represent is, is well thought out and well done. Um, and I'm pretty excited. My kids are pretty excited to play in it as well tomorrow.